Greetings, Grey Witch here. So today we're going to do the preps and the heist from the new heist that we've got that just came out. It's actually pretty cool. I've been having a lot of fun with this. Now it is a bit difficult, especially if you're doing a solo like I am, but I've been making good money and that is a big plus. So at the beginning when you start all this up, you're going to have to go to the casino. You're going to have to meet Madrazo's son and then he's going to go through his whole thing because you're going to need to go for the first time you do it. You're going to be working for Madrazo. Now, after that, you'll be working for yourself. So there's going to be a little few things that are different the first time and then the times after that, but it's not too bad. I've actually, like I said, really enjoyed playing it. So you're going to have to buy a submarine. That's going to be $2.2 million just to buy it all plain Jane. And to fully upgrade it, it's going to be $9,085,000. So it's quite a chunk of change, but you know it's about equivalent of the yacht. And you can drive this, so there's a lot of pluses to it. And besides, you can use the submarine for treasure hunting. I don't know how much treasure or money or RP you get for that yet, because I haven't yet done that. But I've heard that you can do it. You can do it 10 times a day. Sounds like it'll be fun. So, but first off, we're going to do these preps for the heist. Now, I've already bought the submarine. I've already got all that. I'm just showing you where you have to go and talk to him and all this cutscene and stuff like that. So, after you buy your sub, then you're going to have to go meet Dave and Kind Music over at the private terminal. And this will get you to the island because you can't actually drive or fly there by yourself. You actually have to go to the symbol and go guess change lobbies or whatever it is that they do but it's actually pretty cool I was kind of hoping it would be a lobby I mean it would be in the main area which is somewhere you had to go to but I see why they did it like this so it works out yeah a word in your show like now you're really gonna start sweating when you see our host all right so when you first get to the island the first time all you're going to be doing is intel. You're not going to have any weapons or anything like that. You just have to sneak past the guards and find out as much stuff as you can. This is your host right here. He's kind of crazy. And he's got a lot, a lot of bad guys working for him. A massive amount of bad guys. So after you get to where the, through all the craziness and stuff like that, It'll kick up and then you can actually sneak off. Sneak out the back and have yourself a goosey gander, yeah? Right, come with me. Excuse me, mind your back. All right. So now you can sneak out. And the first couple times you do this, you're going to get caught because it's it's just the way it is. And when you do get caught, you'll just get kicked back to right here where you're at. So you'll have to start back completely over. You can't have any weapons, you can't do anything, so this part right here is pretty much just a learning experience. But listen to your guy that's in the sub. He will tell you a lot of things that are useful. But one of my biggest complaints about this entire heist, and I only have a couple, you see that bush behind me? If you hit that bush with a jeep going full speed, it will stop you like you just hit a brick wall. Something to do with the bushes in this on this island are crazy strong. I don't know what they're made out of. It's like steel. But some of these bushes and trees, they'll totally mess up your plans. So keep that in mind as you're doing this. All right, so I got this cool little new outfit. I'm going to try sneaking around all camouflage-like. And there's a lot of places that are choke points that you have to actually get through. You can't just go all wandering all willy-nilly. And one of the main things is the edges all the way around are basically cliffs. So if you get in the water, you're going to have to find you a, a place where you can actually get up. Because most of it's just like that where the fence is and stuff. It's, it's pretty crazy. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to sneak in this gate. No, we're going to try to sneak in this gate. I don't do it too well the first time that I did this, but you have to avoid all of the people, all the cameras, and all of the vehicles. It's not as bad as it seems. But this first time right here, I just ran up to the gate. I was like, hey, let me check it out. 
see what's going on. It's like, I wonder if that guy can see me. So I'm pretty far away. Yeah, he can see you. And you get caught. And he hits you in the ribs. And then they drag you back to the party. So, first time I was unsuccessful. Second time I tried to steal a vehicle. I was also unsuccessful. Just leave the vehicles alone. They're, they're, they're not going to help you out at all. Not until later do you even need to worry about them. So then I even tried to change my tactics. That didn't work either. <laughs> yeah, they caught Mr. Pineapple. So, I don't know. I just, I figured, I guess the camouflage was too easy to see or something. So I went with something completely different. But anyway, you will eventually get through there because you'll figure it out. And it's not difficult. It's just, you have to take your time. You have to wait for when the cones of vision are not facing you. And it's, it's one of those things. You just cannot rush it. If you try to rush it, you're going to, you're going to fail. It's, it's that simple. So take your time. Look at everything. Use your mini map the most. If you have to, pull up the big map. Just take your time. That's the biggest tip I can give you for this beginning part. Especially for any of the parts where you have to just search. Where you don't have any weapons or anything like that. You just really need to take your time and see where everything is. Where you need to go. How you need to get through things. Because if you shoot the can, well, you can't shoot anything, but if you try to do anything like you would normally do in a regular lobby, it, it's going to fail. So basically, you're just going to run to where you can get away from stuff. And I have noticed, though, on both sides of the island, if you stay closer to the edge, you don't run into as many people. But, but like I said, you're going to have to go through choke points where... It's going to bring you to a certain area where there'll be a checkpoint and you'll have, there'll be a bunch of people there and you have to get through it or something like that, or you won't be able to get through it. So there's stuff like that. But right now, while you don't have any weapons or anything like that, your goal is to find everything you can. So right here, I'm coming up to the entrance of the compound. It's like one of the first things he wants you to check out. And this is where you're going to be spending the most of your time. And you would not believe the amount of bad guys that are inside this place. But every time you go and do this heist, you're going to have to go through that checkpoint right there. Well, every time I've done it so far. Two times that I've done it so far. I've had to go through that checkpoint. So. There's certain areas you're just going to have to keep doing it. Alright, so now... You're going to have to go to the tower okay, next step. If I am reading and do some hacking. Correctly, there is communications tower near your current position. If I am right, it should be visible. It will be the highest point on the island. If there is anywhere we can hack CCTV and use it to see inside the compound, it is there. I have sent you the coordinates for where I think it is. It's basically the tallest point on the island, so just head there. I will need signals box to get patched in. And this signal box will move every time this does it. Because, the f see, damn bushes, you can't get through them. A the friend of mine was doing this, and he said it was over here by this fence. So that's where I ran the first time, and it's not here for me. So you got to go up here. The first time I did it, it was up on the first landing. The second time I did it, I had to go all the way up to the top to do it. So it will move around. Hopefully, just stay in this location every time you have to do that. Because you're going to have to do this to access the CCTV cameras. Alright, so here's the little hacking thing. Now, this little hack that you have to do right here. It's, I don't know, this one's kind of cool, but it's math. So, <laughs> math is not one of my strong points. But it's basically you connect the left side to the right side, it'll make a number, and you're trying to get a target of 59 or whichever number it is, and each one will come up with a different pattern, so a different number. Add numbers from top to bottom, and remember, some connections have multipliers. You must experiment. You need exactly target voltage to bypass security. There 
Ja. So you connect with that one. And we do this last one. And there we go. So it's not too bad. The hacker, that's the pain, is the one where you have to do in the office. Where it's the thumbprint scanner. But I got that one worked out pretty good too now. The first time I did it, I was just overwhelmed trying to figure it out. But it's actually a lot easier. Now we'll worry about that when we get there. Alright, so now you're going to scan through all the cameras and try to find all your secondary targets and your main targets. So you definitely want to go through each one of these cameras and check out where it is. Look around on the camera. And the hacking for the safe, well, the safe hacking, well, whatever it's called, uh, safe cracking for this safe is actually pretty easy. It's a lot better than some of the other safe cracking you have to do in some of the other like, basic missions. So that one, you'll actually dig that when we get there. You have found some gold. I will mark its location here. And see if I'm not mistaken, all the gold and cash and stuff like that that's real close to here I think you have to have two players to get in as a keypad you have to have two key cards to get into them so I haven't been able to get into any of those yet but the paintings that you see on the walls some of those are worth money yeah, I'll show you that later on too alright so now we're gonna go to where we're gonna use as our main escape area this is over at the North Dock. See, I like all these new stuff that they put in, but these trees, they're just, especially when you're trying to run away from people. Oh man, these trees will, they'll hold you up and stop you and you'll just get killed. So now we're going to go over here and he's going to want you to take some photographs. Send me photograph. I need to see the water and the dock side. Then I can make estimates for use as a possible infiltration point. Alright, so we go up there. And like it seems like once you get past the gates and the checkpoints, you don't really have to worry about the guards too much. I mean, you still have to worry about them, but they're not moving as fast. They're not as more densely populated as some of the area other areas so it'll help out send this to him now the first time I did this it took me forever to do these because I tried to check out every building everything that I could possibly find yeah. it took like three or four hours just to do that so this version that I'm running through now, I'm just doing the basics of what they want me to do. Look around the warehouses nearby. We can make note of any stashes we find and swing by to collect them when we come for Mini Madrazo's files. Okay. So after you get through searching all the warehouses, you'll find these over here which is a good secondary target, but your bag only carries so much. You should be carrying basically like your heist bag and you'll have like the thing, the main item that you're going to get and then the bag will fill up with all your secondary stuff. And it can only hold so much because I think I got one painting and it was almost halfway full. So I'm thinking two paintings will fill it up, a couple of bales, whatever, you know, stuff like that. It's not going to take much. They're not going to let you get away with a lot of money because they're already give, basically giving you a million dollars for doing this. And so, yeah. Don't expect to get too much anyways. And plus, your first few times through here, don't even worry about all that secondary stuff. Just try to get in and get out with the main object. Because you're still going to make a decent amount of money, especially if you're doing this solo. If you're doing it with other people, you know, hey, take your time. Find that other stuff. Dig it out. Get all the money you can. But if you're doing it solo, you're getting a great payout with a minimal amount of money being put into it. So I'm already, you know, happy. I don't have, you know, there's a bunch of secondary stuff. I could, you know, it's like, what, $4 million you can get out of here? There's no way you're going to get that solo. But 
a million dollar solo is 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 pretty good. I mean, I've already done this twice and I'm loving it. I I can't wait till I can do it again, just so I can keep building up cash and then you know I'm gonna start buying some crazy stuff. And you got money that's easy to make. That's a helpful thing. And this thing that I just took pictures of, if you plan on using any backup support that you pay for, you have to land at the airstrip and take that building out first. Or you will not be able to call them in. You'll have to take out that building before you can call in anything else, like a helicopter or a sniper or any of that other stuff. All right, so I've already scoped out everything I need to, so now I'm getting ready to get out of here. Right this way. Now we're going to head back to Los Santos and start doing all the prep. Because there's a bunch. And it's actually pretty good. Like I said, I'm really pleased with this heist. The casino heist, I totally hated. I only went through them one time. This one, I dig a lot. Alright, so we're on the sub. It's time to crank up the old computer right here behind me. And then we'll get into this and start doing the prep work. So I can't remember how many preps there are that I need to do, but there's a few of them that are mandatory. There's a bunch of them that are, you know, optional, but the ones that do the disruption, you just might as well go ahead and consider them mandatory because they help out so much. You want to do those and you try to want to do them as fast as you can. All right, so let's crank this up. So first we're going to do approach vehicle. I like doing the halo jump in, so we're going to do this two-part for the plane. So we're going to head back here, and we're going to jump on my new helicopter. Because all the people in the comments of my submarine video who told me that I needed to get this, I, I listened to you, and I did, and I love it. This thing is awesome. I like this more than I like the buzzard. And if everybody knows me, they know how much I like using the buzzard. But this thing is great. I have to learn its footprint because I'm still smacking it into stuff, but once I do that, it's going to be awesome. Alright, so first up we got to go to Fort Zancudo, and we're going to steal a big, huge jet plane thingy. It kind of reminds me of like the, I think it's SR-71, it used to be a spy plane, big, huge honking plane. And I think this is basically the Russian version of that that we're going to steal. But these prep missions are not bad at all. I mean, you'll still die pretty fast if you're not paying attention. You don't have your armor and snacks up and are just trying to wander on through them. But they're not bad. All right, so we got temporary clearance. We're going to land over here and go into this hangar and take out a bunch of bad guys. Which is cool because they added the circuit breaker thing to it. Oh, I thought I was going to get hit by those blades. So you come up to one of these. There's a few times you're going to have to do this. You cut the power. And then it'll be all dark inside. And there's a night vision helmet that I real I saw that they sell from the mask store now. I think this might be something you want to use for in here. I have the thermal helmet, but I didn't use it this time. Because if you look at the minimap, you can pretty much see where everybody is. And as you get close, they, they stick right out. So use the mini-map so you don't get stuck on stuff. And then just take out as many of these people as you can. And remember, there's a big, huge plane in the middle of this room. So don't get all crazy sending out rockets and stuff. I'm trying to trigger these guys to come out if there's any more up there. There's somebody right there. Yep, right there. Got him. I think I see some more legs. Locked onto that one. He's behind stairs. I can't lock onto him. Oh, and you're going to notice that that's another thing. There's going to be a lot of people that hide behind stairways and railings and stuff like that that you can't shoot through. Or you can't lock onto through. That would be the more appropriate way of saying that. So basically, I'm just going to go through here and just take out all these guys. I'm just going to kill everybody and then... You're going to have to find a laptop, and that moves around every time. All right, so the thing came back on. So now I need to go 
clear out these last few guys. Oh, I shot the tip of the, the plane. Alright, there's a couple guys left in here. No, I need a weapon. Let's get this guy. Come on. Come on out. There he is. So if you've ever wondered why I shoot so much, like you'll see me walk up and then just fire at nothing, that's why I do that, is to trigger them to come out. I know people say stuff about it all the time, like, why do you shoot at everything when you walk around? And it's basically just so I can trigger all these guys to move around. That room should be clear now. Yep, he's definitely dead. All right, so let's look for this laptop. First, I'm going to put some ammo and stuff on. Get the health back up. Now, the first time I did this, it was in this room over here. And it does not look like it. No, I think it was over here. Yeah, it was over here. And it is not there now. So now we are going to search other rooms. It's not there. Head up around here. There's a lot of buildings, a lot of little rooms in here that I wasn't aware of. I didn't really spend much time in the hangar when I did own it. Because I didn't like any of the missions. Because I'm just, I'm not good at flying planes. That's the main thing. If I could have done everything with a helicopter, I'd been fine. Just some of those cell missions where I just, I suck so bad at them. I would crash the plane, lose the whole sail, and I was just, nope, this is the same room I was just in. I gotta go the ones across the thing. But, yeah, horrible. I can barely take off and land. I mean, I can do a little bit, but nothing like I can do in a helicopter. And one thing you will notice about these, they do take quite a amount of time. Everything is spaced out just to eat up time. Let's go up here first. Wow, what a pigsty. I actually know people who live like this. And they see nothing wrong with it. Oh, there it is. Woohoo! All right. So now we gotta hack the laptop. Oh, I thought we had to hack that one. Like, actually do something. Guess not. And see, it looks like the wings on this retract, but I couldn't get them to do anything, so I don't think they do. It's just the way that it looks. And then now all we got to do is go to the other, go to the main airport, land this, and take it in the hangar. This is a huge plane. But it turns pretty cool. It's easy to fly. It's not so easy to control when it's on the ground, though. I struggled with this trying to get this thing to turn. It just doesn't want to turn. But it picks it up in the end and it all works out. So that was the first prep. So now we're going to go do the one for the pilot. Because the pilot needs you to do something. So he'll do this mission for you. So we're going to jump back in the helicopter and head over to Vinewood. So I believe this mission we're going to take out some loan sharks. Alright. So like I said, these preps, not bad. That first mission, 
not really anything more difficult than any regular missions that we have in the game. And I dig that. And being able to do this solo, I'm, I'm just, I'm tickled. Love it. over here we're gonna take out some guys we're gonna have to go inside take out some more guys but I do like how they're using other locations like this stilt house because I actually owned one of these at one time and knew the layout pretty good so there's a few rooms that they won't let you go into Ooh, locking on to something I should shoot. Or... Let's turn around. We'll throw a rocket down there and see what happens. The house is just ahead of your current position. Cool. Our pilot friend says they will be well armed. All right, so let's land this thing and ooh. Smack the hell out of that building. Oh, that's not good for the helicopter. Yeah, it's definitely not good for it. Hopefully it'll last me. Be able to finish the rest of this mission. Nope, probably not. Yeah, we'll see. We'll worry about that later. Let's go inside and kill some guys. Oh, there's a guy right there. Ooh, he got me. But I got him more. I like how he just slams his shoulder right into it. Just like, wham! That's like the worst way to open a door. You can't do that in real life. You'll, you'll throw your shoulder out of socket. You gotta open it like a fire. Hit your foot. Alright. There's somebody over here. I don't see him. I got him. There's always that guy behind the couch. Takes like You gotta shoot at him for like 20 or 30 minutes. See if anybody gets the reference from that movie. Dominic Patrick, is Spirit of Sante. Same movie reference. Oh, that guy shouldn't have been doing that. He was just standing there right out in the wide open. Oh, these railings. I hate trying to shoot around these railings. Oh, some guys back there, too. What are you guys doing back here? Come on, buddy. Gotcha. Somebody right here. There he is. Oh, there we go. Somebody down here? Yes. Two people. Oh, well, let me lock on. Come on now. Oh, now they can. That's stupid. Yeah, I think I just killed your brother upstairs. Or your identical twin. Says there's someone somewhere else. I hear someone yelling. Whoa, what happened? That was crazy. Where are they? Are they outside? They must be outside. I must have missed somebody outside. So I hear him coming from over here. Let's go outside and check. No, nope, because it's saying enter the house. There's no way over there. Why? Hmm. It's a predicament. 
Hope it ain't one of those things where the guys spawned into the wall or some shit. He's got to be downstairs in one of those rooms. All right, we're doing a pattern check. We're going to figure it out. Room to room. Is he in the bathroom? Yes. I never thought to look in the bathroom. What are you guys doing in here? Alright, got them all now. Remember the guys that are in the bathroom. Alright, this place is thoroughly messed up. Blood everywhere, bullet holes. Definitely going to have to get a good sheet rocker and a painter in there. Alright, so now we just got to lose the cops. And then we'll head back to the sub and take care of business. If this will get me back to the sub. No way. Basically, all I need to do is get as high in the air as I possibly can. So if I can get up high enough, I can just use a parachute. So I used to do that as a way to travel across the map. See, back in the long time ago, I used to steal helicopters from wherever I could get them. And then, if I needed to get to the other side of the map, instead of driving through all the craziness of people and the murder of whatever was going on, I would just take a helicopter and go as high up in the air as I could. And then I would jump out and use the parachute to travel across the map. And no one could ever find me. There's people, I'd see jets and stuff and like that. You know, every once in a while, somebody would find me, but... For most of the time, I never had to worry about it. It was a good way for sneaking. Because people see your dot moving across the map, they don't ever realize you're you know, 7,000 feet in the air. Alright, so we got that going. Let's jump back to the sub and... Get some more of these prep work done. And easy does it. Huh. That was nice. Alright. So let's go ahead and start up another one. So now we're going after equipment. We need to get some demolition charges. I've done this one on the last one. You have to go to the Yellow Jack Inn and you have to go after the O'Neill brothers. First part, they'll be at the inn or the bar or whatever. Kill everybody there and then you have to go over to the farm and basically do the same thing again. Like I said, this, this helicopter, having this helicopter here is so awesome. Because before, when I didn't have it and I tried to do the first times, I'd have to get out, call in a dinghy, jump off the thing, go to the dinghy, fly, drive all the way up to the beach, and then call in my helicopter. And it sucked. So, to everybody who told me to buy this in my comments, you guys are awesome. Thank you for recommending it. Because after I finished the first heist, I bought this. After I finished it the first time, that's what I meant. All right, so we're out here, and basically just let the rockets fly. There's nothing down here you have to worry about. And once they're all dead, we'll go to the. It'll trigger the next part. Let's go to the farm. Same thing. Anybody who's outside, shoot them. Now, you can probably, if you take your time and slowly get around here, lock onto some of these, because I did trigger locks on some of the windows where some of these guys were. And you could probably fine-tune it and pick them out like that using your rockets, but it's just as easy to go inside and use shotgun. So we'll land this, I guess, right here. And I kind of wish that we could get, like, some rubber guards or something for the bottom of this thing, because 
it lands hard. Well, probably just me. I'm not used to it, but you'll see later on when I go to land this and it slides like 200 yards. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't see how many of these guys I can get through the window. There's a guy. I'm going to do him somewhere. They run around pretty squirrely inside here. I guess that's one of the bad things about doing math. Well, it's probably not one of the only bad things, but you know where I'm going. Alright. Oh, I can't lock on. Get off me, dude. Quit shooting me. That's what you get for looking like a chicken. Let's see where everybody's going. There. Look out! Why don't you get back to and it never goes to the wall that I want it to go to when I want him to lean up on something. And see how I'm using the door right here to hold this guy? That's that's helpful. You'll see I'll do it again in a minute. I'll use the door to knock a person down so I can shoot him. And basically you just shoot at the door. I'm gonna do it right here. Cause that dude's right behind the door. And it knocks him down. And then once I stop shooting the damn door jam. And see, that's stupid too, because if I had actually shot in real life at that wall when he was standing behind there, it would have killed him. Because that's just sheetrock and some 2 by 4s But in this game, it stops bullets. In real life, if you stand behind the wall like that, you're going to die. Because I've actually seen bullets go all the way through from one end of a house through to another end. Through dozens of walls. Because I actually painted a house that was in a drive-by. And they shot it all up. Nobody got injured. It was an empty house. Somebody, you know, I guess the guy who did the drive-by was an idiot. Because the house was empty. Or they just wanted to shoot a house. And the bullets went through every wall. There, it was you would have stood no chance in there. There was no wall in that house that did not have bullet holes in it. All right, so with these guys, one of them gonna drop a thing. And we'll be able to use it to get into the basement. Come on, get out of your truck so I can shoot you. All right, that one dropped the thing. Another guy over here. Let's go ahead and kill this guy too. Alright. That way he doesn't feel left out. It took me forever to find this basement area the first time I did this. I searched this hall. Because the place where the basement would be is under the stairs. You would just keep going to where the stairs were and then you would follow the stairs down. But no, nah, this is all completely different. Okay. Now there's a couple guys down here. But I think they have knives and bottles or something. Yeah, so he's down. He had a hammer. That would not have been good. All right. So that was that. So you got the demolition charges. So now what you do is jump back in the helicopter and head back to the submarine. A lot of dead people in here. Where's the door? There it is. And it says right there, I'm visible to all players in the session. But I'm doing this in an invite-only session. Which is another thing that's awesome. I don't have to be in a full lobby doing this solo. I just go into an invite-only session, cranked it up, and registered as the CEO, and boom. Don't have to worry about any griefers or anything else like that. It's awesome. Totally love this new heist. Quit trying to talk me into using more people. I'm doing this solo. But that's done. Charges are here. 
And now we will crank up our next one. Well, of course, the decision is yours alone. The Rubio's vault will be a challenge. We need specialized... All right, so now we are going for a plasma cutter. Because in this heist, it's no, we're not going after the Madrazo files. The prep work that I'm doing for this one is for the second heist. So I'm going after a some jeweled necklace or something like that. It's worth a million dollars, so I'm all about it. So we got to get a plasma cutter so that it'll cut through the case that is holding said necklace. And then it'll be cool. And let me tell you, that plasma cutter, it's very reminiscent of the first heist where you had to use the drill to drill through the boxes. Ah, uh, yeah, you'll see when we get to there. All right, so there is nobody here. Ooh, banging it up. Like I said, I got to learn the footprint on this thing. I'm not sure if it's smaller or not. I'm going to have to pull them both out at the same time and set them side by side and see what goes on. Because I think that that one's a little bit longer, but it's skinnier. Because the buzzard's pretty short and squat. Alright, so there's nobody in here. This looks just like my documents. Factory thing. And I had a problem trying to record, take a picture of this. It actually, I had to do it like four or five times before it would finally go through and be able to be sent to dude. And see, it doesn't want to go to it. And then I tried to save it, and then it just kicks it back up again. And it's like, oh no, we're doing something. And it did that to me like three or four times. And now it'll just let me send it. Perfect. Now give if you me notice through that quick scrolling, there's a couple of special people in my phone. <laughs> For special occasions of having them come over to the house, hang out. For naughty time. All right, so let's get out of here. Ah, there you are. I will send you new location now. All right, so we're going over to Del Piero, and we're gonna foil a bank robbery or a heist of it that they're using, steal their stuff, and then take off. Now, I said I had a couple of complaints about this heist. One of them is the is the trees on the island. That's just that's the biggest one. The second one is the weapons. I know they're all like, "Hey, you can't use your own weapons and stuff like." But this is a game, you know. If we're going to be realistic, then let's be 100% realistic and make it like that. But if we're not going to be 100% realistic, then let's be you know, let me use my own weapons because I've trained, I've learned how these weapons are. I have them set up the way that I want them. I'm used to them. Having to use different weapons for these heists, it's kind of annoying. But I actually just switched this over to the Mark II, and I took the scope off of it. And you can lock onto people just like any other of your other weapons. I'm going to actually try to use it and see how it works. I got a couple people in the way, and there's a dude way back there. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Ooh, almost got run over. You'd think I'd learn. All right, we got a couple of people right here in the way. Get out of the way. All right, let's drop this guy. That looks pretty good. It's got some range to it. I might have to add this to the weapons of use. Ooh, extra people come. Where'd these guys come from? Oh, we gotta switch to machine gun. There's too many people. Oh, I'm gonna die. I gotta put on some armor. Here we go. 
I hate how long it takes for your health to catch up. Because if you don't stop moving, it won't pick up. Every other game I play, the health will increase all the way back up. But this will not. I'm not careful. I'm going to get killed. Oh, I'm almost dead. I'm going to die. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's got me all ragdolling. People are, I'm dead. I'm not worried about it, though. You get to bound to happen. And it's actually a good thing. Because the majority of the bad guys will disappear. So we'll head back up here, pick up this bag, and then we will skedaddle on out of here. Where is this thing? Cocksucker. Oh, whoa, they're right there. Hey, quit shooting me, guy. That dude can't be killed. You know what? I don't trust that. Hold that for a second. Everybody's dead now. Alright. Oh, except for that guy back there, but he's just cowering, so I'm not uh, worried about him. Got more people chasing me. Why can't I jump that? That's stupid. These guys have a pretty good bit of armor on, too. So let's get over here to the old helicopter and see if we can't get out of here. This guy's chasing me. Are you coming over here? Nope, on the other side. Of course, behind a railing where I can't lock onto him or get good shots. Just use so much ammo. Now let's head back to the helicopter. Get my health back up. And you will go through some serious armor your first couple of times through this mission. Uh, through the heist. I know the first time. Oh man, I, I died so many times. It was ridiculous. Because I just kept trying to do things that I was used to doing in other missions. And that's really the trick, is you have to get out of the pattern of doing the same things that you normally do. And take your time and see what's going on. Alright, so we got this one. Alright, so let's head back in here and start this back up again. There's the necklace that I'm going to steal. Got the vehicle. Got the plasma cutter. Now we just need the fingerprint cloner. And this thing is a pain in the butt. So when you have to do that hack, we'll wait till we get there before I talk more about it. Alright, so we're going to go to a warehouse. I think that's the fastest loading time. Not sure. All right, so we got to go to this warehouse. Fingerprint scanner in Mr. Rubio's office is very latest design. Normal hacking tools will be detected immediately, and the whole place will be sealed. Our only chance is to acquire Mr. Rubio's fail-safe device, which can reconstruct his fingerprint in case of emergency. This and only this will allow us to hack the system. And to get it, we will need to find the mainland. Okay, so now that he's done talking, we're going over here. We're going to land. We're going to go find some stuff. Try to 
Jet, set this down. the camera. No, I was just... Ah, you got it. Destroying them will alert the guards inside. Oh well. Every other time I've had to just shoot the cameras. There's one more guy up there. Let's see where you are. There he is. Hello. Alright, he's down. They don't drop anything. It's a shame. Alright, so now we gotta do some hacking. Alright, so here's where I thought I had to do... Yeah, okay. Because earlier I thought I had to do this hacking, but it's... Panthers. You'll see why that's the password later. Now let's go. Alright, so we're gonna jump back in the chopper and head to the archives. For you know, just because we gotta run across the map and kill more time. I mean, all in all, it's not too bad. It'd take me maybe two and a half hours to run through this time. With all the prep work, yeah, because I didn't, you know, I knew exactly what I was going to do this time, so it wasn't that bad. Maybe a little bit longer, maybe closer to three hours. I don't know. I'll probably end up cutting a whole bunch of this out. This is completely different. Now we're going over there. See, now they want me to shoot the cameras. See? Make up your minds. Here's the other one. I hear it beeping. Is it up high? No. Let's move over. There it is. Okay. Now we can sneak into the archive. What about the guy that was watching the video feed? If there was a guy there. He'd be like, hey, why are the cameras? Both cameras just went offline instantly. Alright, let's see. Nothing on this table. Oh, I see it. It's on the other side. Nope. Not over here. That's where it was the last time. It's right there. Do you have the device? Get it out of there. Quickly. Okie dokie. If we wanted me to come in here and get out real quick, why don't we put it over here by the door? Alright, so now we just gotta take this back to the sub. And this will be done. See, I wouldn't do bad. Mainly just a way to make you wait time. That's basically what these missions are. It's not too difficult. just so you can't rush through them too fast anyways. And I think if you try to restart the heist again, 
like as soon as you finish it or whatever, as soon as you get the next, when he alerts it to you that you can do it, it goes to hard mode unless you wait for a certain amount of time and then you can just do it in the normal mode that it is. But once I get good at running through it on normal, let's try doing it on hard mode too. Because apparently you get more money and more stuff. No, I'm gonna keep a keepsake. Nothing you need to worry about. Alright, so now we're going after what weapon package that we're gonna use. Now the first time I went through, I used the crack shot. This one right here. I don't recommend this one on your first time. The time I'm gonna do it this time, I'm gonna use the aggressor. Because that's my, that package is what I th would assume to be the best. It's a shotgun and it's a machine gun pistol. So I'm thinking that's the best one. The sniper rifle, it worked for me for a little while. You know, I'm a pretty good shot with a sniper rifle, but it just wasn't very usable. And I pretty much just used the AP pistol the entire time. And you have to kill a lot of people to keep ammo in that. And it took a long time to get through that heist. Alright, so now we're going to go over to the sack center. When it comes to our weapon supply, we must leave no paper trail. And you know the easiest way to have no paper trail? Steal it. Go in through the front door. We're gonna go up to the roof. You are approaching the coordinates now. You can go in through front door, but roof entry may also be possible. Expect a hard fight when you are inside. So we're gonna go over here, land up on the roof. If I can find a place. In the place I pick, I should have went with the 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 railway or walkway thing right there. I should have landed on that. I was going to it first and I was like, you know what? I'll just land it right here on top of this air conditioning unit. I'll be able to get back up here and get it. Wrong. We'll see that later. There we go. Now we'll head in here. Take out some guys. Oh, the loading times. Okay, yeah, I know where the gun locker is. I have this exact office. This is kind of cool. Ooh, somebody shot me. They shot me again. They're behind bulletproof glass. How did they shoot me? Hello. Ooh, I got him good. Ooh, him too. Put major hurting on him. Love this shotgun. Right, somebody over here. Not anymore. He's over here. Surprise. Ooh, he's a potty mouth. But he's dead now. I think I just picked up some smokes. I think that's the only way that I get the full smokes. I have that like full in my inventory all the time, and I have never bought the cigarettes in this game ever. Oh, there's a lot of blood and brains all over this. So we have a hack of laptop. I wonder why they got the curtains closed. I mean, beside the fact that this is a completely illegal operation. Alright, so this one's not too bad. I just move up here, wait till the 
two middle, I see the two middle numbers, the 81 and the 90 together. And once I see them, then I'll just move it down and put it right there it is. All right. Did that work? Can you open the locker now? Can you give me a second? I need a Band-Aid. Yeah, take your time. In my experience, the All right. people who have cache of unmarked weapons will try very hard to kill you when you steal them. Move fast and watch out. You know, Captain, I have heard we are not the first to body armor. Definitely got to get more of that before we get into the heist. How did they find him if he used their own weapons? Did they trace the bullets? I'll try to blow smoke up my ass. Ooh. Oh, yeah, watch this. Homing rockets. Don't home in on anything. Yep, just wee. Basically like using a fire. The... Much Magala. Fireworks launcher. away for me to get any good bullets into him. Alright, so he gets to stay alive for right now. So, can't get to my... Ah, oh, look what I'm doing. Can't get to my helicopter. So, the only thing I can do is jump. But I could jump over to where the... Marina is and take a boat and then just drive right out to the sub. That'll work. Let's do that. Right beside the marina is the helicopter place. I could go there. Ah, we'll get a boat first. Let's see what happens. Watch me not have a parachute. <laughs> that would have been that would have been stupid. Just drop straight down. Now that I don't have to worry about that dude shooting me with a helicopter. It'd be a nice leisurely parachuting. I've always wanted to do that base jumping. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube about got people doing it. And it just looks so fun. It'd be so terrifying. But it just looks like it would be a blast. Yeah, let's go to the marina. So, I mean, we're going to the sub. If I get a helicopter, I've got to jump out of the helicopter and ditch it. Basically do what I'm doing right now. So, take a boat. We can just go right over there and jump out and land right on it. Hopefully, there'll be a cool one. Are you kidding me? There are no boats at the marina. No boats. How many boats are there? There are none. There could be no more boats. Did you see that new art show at the Mount Bank? Totally derivative. What? The, comp the entire marina is empty. This is ridiculous. All right, I just swim over here and get a helicopter now. I just swim out to it, but it would take me a year and a half to swim out to the submarine. That dude got out of the helicopter and is running over to where I'm at. That's a dedicated NPC. That is my MPV NPC. <laughs> at least there was a helicopter here. He's probably going to get over here to before I get here.
He hit me. He shot me. That son of a bitch. All right. Let's head out to the submarine. Why has it got to be foggy? Doesn't this take more to render fog or something like that? Or I don't know. It gives the game realism. No, it doesn't. It just pisses you off. I have never heard anyone in a game say, you know what this game needs? Fog. Let's see if I could do it again. First time I did it was perfect. Of course. Hit the thing, I'm gonna drown. Moron. He's got of course gotta take why does he have to take the parachute off? Why can't we just keep it on? Until we decide to remove it or something like that. Alright, so that one's done. Let's get on to the next thing. Alright, so these are the disrupt disruption missions. And you they're optional, but I'm telling you you need to treat them as mandatory because you've got a limited amount of time and these help out a lot so the first one we're doing right here is to take out the arms dealers and this will keep them from having good weapons so if you don't do this the guys on the island are going to have good weapons and you don't want that you want them to have crap now this one you have to be on your money. Having that helicopter inside the submarine was a big help. Because the first time I tried to do this, I failed it because I had to take a boat over to the shore and then call in my helicopter and then go try to do it. So we're going to head over there. This is going to take a minute to get over there, so I'm probably going to cut some of this out. But there's one bad thing about this. When you get out here, you you can't lock onto them. So that sucks. So you actually have to land. Oh, here's the slide. Check this out. Yeah, so much for discreet. And then I'm just throwing punches at the air. Almost dead. Luckily, I killed the dude. And I'm not talking about that. That was zero skill. That was 100% stumbling luck. <laughs> because I, I don't get it. I don't even know how I did it. But yeah, I got it. All right, so now I'm back at the full health. My helicopter is getting ready to shit the bed. And it's, you know, it's typical. Typical mission. Just going to start cutting out. Hopefully I'll get over to where I've got to go. I can just jump. Yep, it's gonna it's gonna do it. It's gonna poop right now. <laughs> Drop me right on the ground. Oh, that's right here. Okay. Even if it does, I ain't got that far to go. But I got seven minutes. So this is taking away valuable time. Alright, so now we'll land over here and sneak up on this dude and take him out. Oh, of course. So my helicopter triggered gang members or something over here at Madrazo's house. Just what I needed. Another 20 or 30 people shooting at me. Good job, dumbass. This one right here. Oh, I don't have any RPG. So we have to do this with the old grenade launcher. I'm lucky I can get it. Right there. Because that dude will take off. Got it. Sweet. See, that worked out quite, pretty good. Yes, that's what I'm hoping for. Alright, so... Let's go down here, call in the helicopter. Oh, look at this rag doll. That, that's such a shame. Call in my buzzard. Ooh, it got nailed. Hey, 
Watch it, buddy. See, he's a little short, stout guy. I think the other helicopter is real long, or much longer than this one. I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to put them side by side. But this one, the buzzard seems a little bit faster. But the other one seems more maneuverable. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out a way to test it. Down to the last couple armors. Snacks. Definitely have to refill that up. Where is this dude? This one's over. Okay, I remember. Nope, this is not where he was the last time. I wish I could lock onto these guys. It would be so much easier. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this one. This one is wearing the combat suit, the heavy ballistic armor, and he's got the minigun. Yeah. This is this one's gonna be fun. No Alright. Can't see him. He's probably triggering moving around or something. Throw some grenades over there. I wonder if I can stand up on the edge of this wall. Nope. Nope, that sucked. How come you lose your uh, body armor when you fall? It wasn't like I got shot. Let's jump this fence and do something completely stupid. Oop, there he is, shooting at me. Who's left? He's right there, he's right there. Get some headshots into this guy. We'll be doing good. I'm switching things. You know what? I deserve that. I just broke rule number one of combat. Never stand by anything that can explode. Huh. Thanks, guys. But anyway, rule number one of combat is never stand by anything that can explode while you are trying to shoot somebody. Oh, those things are worthless. It just ricocheted off that fence like it was made out of rubber. Alright. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but it did it. Uh, which weapon? Maybe I can wing him to death. Nick him. I'm nicking him. So then I'll nick him to death. I got him! Hell yeah! I didn't think that was going to happen. All right, so that's done. Ooh, that's gonna blow up. What are you doing? We don't need to look at this. All right, so the first one of the disruptions done. All right, so this one, we have to destroy all the body armor so they're not wearing body armor when we go there. This is the same kind of basic thing. You can't lock onto them from the helicopter. You have to go to couple locations and blow up a bunch of stuff. Alright, so we're going to go over here. And what's kind of crazy is, I do believe they took over Lester's place. You are approaching the location. This used to be Lester's warehouse. It. Speaking of which, why isn't Lester mentioned in this heist at all? I wonder if I can la I can land the buzzard in the middle of here. I wonder if I can land this. Oh, I nicked it. I bet you I can if I try it better. Well, this is going to be destroyed. Do I need to blow it up? Nope, it took care of it. Alright, so we're going to jump over here, kill some bad guys, and then blow up some crates with some explosives. Pretty basic thing. If you're wondering how I'm locking on all those guys real fast and then moving, it's because I've got my aim set to full auto assist, you know, the assisted aim, whatever it is. It's full. Because 
For missions like this, I like to have that set on so I can do that. Because they can lock onto you a lot better than you can lock onto them, so every advantage helps. And I understand if you're a free aim guy or all of that stuff, you know. I understand. I play that way too. But that's against people. Against robots, I'm gonna use every advantage I can get. I'm just gonna... Damn. Mini grenade thing is worthless. Oh, of course we gotta go inside. Yeah, this is Lester's warehouse. I don't know what's going on, but we need to find out. A bunch of dudes in here, and of course there's all kinds of stuff in the way, so you can't get great shots on them. This is right in my way. Got the guy over there, get him. Put like 40 bullets into him. Who's the last guy up there? Ah, uh, of course it was on the change, but I got him anyways. All right, so sticky bombs. Just put all of them on there. We'll blow them up all at one time. Luckily, we can do five at one time. So let's go over here. Hit the boom booms. Sweet. Of course it's not that easy. Yes. Told ya. I'm seeing a supply bolt on sonar. Southbound course from your position. Take no chances. Destroy it. So now we gotta go after a boat. And guess what? You can't lock onto it. Let's run over here, call in the... Oh, no, I can't call in my other one because i got time on that. Probably not close, so we'll call in the buzzard. And, of course, I got hit by a car. I'm on a time. I wonder how many times I've been hit by cars. Have you ever gone in your stats and checked all the goofy stuff that you've done, like how many tires you've blown out and just stuff like that, how many times you've fallen? There's a lot of cool stuff in there. I might have to do a video on that one day. Alright, all set to go. We got four and a half minutes about. Get over here and take this out. And for some reason my RPG is not showing up in my weapons thing. I must have took it out. So this time I'm gonna have to do it with the old dippy doo with the buzzard. Make sure I got this was on. Oh, too low. And that's how you do that. And that's the second disruption. Prep done. Like I'm saying, you really need to do these because this took just took away all the armor that they'd be wearing. That's a big help. The last one is air support. If you're going to do any of them, make sure you do this one. But this one, you have to be quick. Because this one you, takes a good amount of time to do it. There's a lot of traveling. It's pretty much all of the targets are on opposite sides of the map. But the good thing is, you can lock onto them. out here and then I just go left to right I don't worry about any of the ones that are in the middle I'll do those last that's right you only get one try at each one of these so if you don't do it oh well and you really, really do not want to be running around on this island with these buzzards chasing you. Because you're already going to have one helicopter chasing you. So you're not going to want another bunch of them. 
And then there's also a plane that you can go to and do cluster bombs. I'm, I don't care. I've got this. It'll work. But if you did have another person working with you or something like that, then you could drop them off and then let them do that. It would go a lot faster. But solo, this is how I do it. It's not too bad. I mean, it's mainly just... It's a lot of flying. And like this first target coming up here. This one will be over the water. It'll be like a tugboat with some barges. You just you're gonna blow up the tugboat and then take out the buzzards. Luckily, they're just sitting there on the barge. They're not flying in the air or any of that craziness. But you do have to get kind of low. Lock onto them. And always make sure your mini map that you didn't leave one. Because the first time I left, oh, didn't lock onto that, and I had to come back. Boom! How you like that kill? I got helicopters chasing us. Now the first time I did this, I didn't have helicopters chasing me. But this time, I do. I don't know what that's about. So, keep an eye out for them. Because the bad thing about having these is they're going to keep spawning in front of me or beside me or whatever because I can easily outrun them. Well, if they're in buzzards and I'm easily outrunning them, then this one's got to be faster. Hmm. I will have to check that out. See? They just respawned behind me and slammed into each other. Because I heard it. Sometimes you can get them to crash right into the side of this uh, mountain if you fly close enough to it. I've done that in missions. See? They respawned and slammed into each other again. It's a good amount of prep, but at least you don't have to do a bunch of stupid stuff like steal four different cars and all that other ridiculous stuff that you had to do for some of these other heists that we did. The first heist wasn't too bad. The Doomsday heist, that one was, it was okay. I mean, the Doomsday heist was definitely set up for multiple players, and the Casino heist is the same way. In no part of that was worth it to me. It just did not seem it'd like to be a fun heist. Hmm, a couple more. Oh, the helicopters disappeared. I wonder if they were just a glitch. Or maybe they're going to take it behind me again. Who knows? Let's see. So we got two more targets and four more buzzards. So we'll go to this one that's off to the left, or straight in front of us first, and then we'll get the one that's in the center. I probably could have got the one that was in the center and then hit the other one. It's just, this is the way I always do my targets. Well, then give me more time. Why do we only have 10 minutes to do this? hate that. They only give you a little bit of time and then they're like, hey, you need to hurry up. You need to get off my ass and let me do this. Give me a faster helicopter. It's not my fault these things are all over the map. You'd think if you were shipping them to somebody, they'd be relatively all going to the same place at the same time. Not all scattered about. We should be getting close. I don't know if this one's over water or on land. I hope it's on land and I hope it's close. So we're at four minutes. And I've got to go back to the right. Oh, that's right there at that building. It's a police headquarters or something.
Alright, as soon as I get lock, missiles away. There we go. And there's bugs on the roof too. You get that one just for safe measure. Ha! <laughs> Good shot. Just in case. They were like, hey, there's one up there we can take. I don't want no buzzards chasing me while I'm running through this jungle. It's like I said, there's going to be one helicopter chasing you. He's going to be shooting at you. And the first time I went through it, I tried to snipe the dude out of it. I could not hit that dude with that crappy sniper rifle they gave you. Second time, I tried. Well, you'll see when we get there. It's, it's insane. So we got one more target. Three minutes. We could possibly do this. And that'll be all the disruption. Mission's done. And that should be a pretty good advantage. Hopefully, a pretty good advantage. And there's still going to be a million bad guys. I wish we could get the bad guys to, you know, get those numbers taken down. This will be really, really quick. That's it. Sweet. It's got all the disruption prep done. Now we're ready for the heist. Alright, so now we are ready to do the heist. We got all our stuff, equipment, all the missions. Let's start this up. Yes, we will need to purchase that. And you know something? That, that's something I. Why is it we can buy, get snacks and all that fun stuff everywhere, but we can only get armor from the gun shops? Why can't I get an armor thing inside someplace where I can just buy it, even if it's a little bit more expensive? It would be it'd be worth it to me just to be able to be closer and not have to run around or be able to buy it through my menu. I don't know. All right, so going through each of these. Selecting how I'm going to go in. I'm going to exit pretty much any way I can, but probably at the north dock. Time of day, we're going to go for night. I know it kind of sucks for recording, but it does make it a bit easier to sneak around. And no support crew, none of that. I'm getting all the money. All right, let's change up the outfits. Which is kind of a bummer because I wanted to use... Mine. I don't know. I didn't really go through it enough to see if I could use. Let's check. Oh, there we go. That's pretty cool. Let's do it. Let's make some money. So I think with this heist and all my other ways of I making money through my different previous DLCs. Should be able to make a good bit of money. A serious amount of money in a short amount of time. Well not necessarily a short amount of time. Okay, so we're gonna jump out of here, but we're gonna wait even after he tells us when to jump, because we're gonna, I'm gonna jump as close to the compound as I can get. You can't get too close, because once you get too close, there's like a red circle. If you go in there, you get, you know, dead. As so we're gonna kind of wait just for a few more minutes. Well, this is your cue. Don't miss it. All right, here we go. So, aim this way towards the compound. I know a halo is supposed to be a high altitude, low opening, but it was low enough. Plus, I can travel further with the parachute, which we've already discussed.
as you see, as I was saying earlier, the entire island is pretty much just all cliff face. There's only a few access points to the water. Alright, you can see the red circle coming right up on my left on the mini-map. You do not want to land in that. Alright, we're on the ground. So now it's on to the compound. And I'm going to show you something first. Now, the first time I did this, I needed an escape route quick. So I came around this other side and jumped over this wall. I, I don't know how I got over it, but I fell on the other side, so it didn't matter. I think I kind of glitched, but I got to the other side of it and got all the way up to where the airstrip was. And it took quite a while, but it did, it did help out. All right, so we are going to that same checkpoint chokehold air these damn trees. And sneak on in. Now you see these guards up here? I'm going to try to take out the one that's on the furthest away from me first. And then there's two others. And I'm going to try to take out at the same time. Now, we don't have binoculars in this game, but one thing we do have is the camera. And you can kind of use it as binoculars. Ah, oh, damn it, I hit the frame things. But you see how there's different filters. Those kind of work like different vision. Let me get rid of this stupid frame thing. All right. See, you can zoom in. It's kind of like binoculars. I mean, you can't move or anything like that, but it can help you out, especially when you trying to do the sneaking part you want to look ahead to see if there's anything up there that you really want to go investigate so remember that damn it I hit it again all right so let's kind of sneak out here to where I can kind of pistol snipe this guy going for the headshot got him Ooh, look at that rank up and my health increased it was already maxed, but I think every 20 ranks, this goes up. Right, now we're going to sneak around this side. Try to do the same thing to these two guys. Up, damn it. I was too far away. Up, oh, got the alarm. Gonna put my mask on. All right, so now we get to listen to this alarm until I finish this, so that's that's fun. And one of my other complaints is every time that you're here, before the mission and all that, and it shows you exactly where the bad guys are. When you come back for the heist, they pop up randomly. And that's kind of a bummer because... I was hoping that, you know, it would be the same. That way I could plan my routes like I did when I was here just for intel. It's hard to do because if you head to an area you think is empty and then you get up there and then all these guys pop up and you're like, oh, damn, I'm, you know, I'm surrounded. All right, so hit right on the D-pad so we can go in. And this has actually saved me one time. This little cutscene thing where you hit right on the D-pad because I was getting killed coming on the way out of here. And... I was right at red, and this dude was just steadily popping me. And I hit that cutscene, and I luckily I didn't die. So when it came through the other side, my health was back up to the minimum that health goes to. And then I ran and got away and got health and body armor. So that worked out. All right, so now we we'll bring out the boomstick, and there is a bunch of bad guys in here. And pretty much you're in range of everyone who's in here. In every area you're at, pretty much all these guys can hit you. So just run and gun it. 
And if you hadn't done the disruption, this gets this is a lot worse. All right, so now I'm sitting right here and I'm waiting. If you'll notice on the mini map, there's like a little red skull that's moving towards me. That's a dude with a mini gun. So what I'm doing is I'm waiting until he gets over here so I can take this dude out. Wait on, got that guy. That way I don't have to deal with him while I'm trying to run around the building because he'll always be right behind you and shoot you and you'll be in a crossfire and it sucks. I got killed by him the first time I did it a dozen times. So now he's down. Now I'm just gonna work my way around taking out these guys as best I can until I can get to the underground vault. Got a key card which is pretty much worthless because there's only me. Jump down here. This guy out right there. See, I wish, I, since now that the alarm is on, I could just take the silencers off. I wish that was an option. Where is this dude? He's right beside me. Right. Got him. The gold's right there, but I can't get in because you need two key cards that have to be put in at the same time. This guy, there he is. Look at this guy trying to hide behind this bush. What is... Yeah, I'm just going to kill him slow because he made me do all that. At least he had ammo. So remember, everybody that you drop in here, most of them will drop ammo and you need to pick it up like that because you have a very limited amount you got to make every shot count man I've been running around this building for like 20 minutes how many right angles are on this building still going Damn, this is the building that never ends. All right, now we're inside the office. Grab the key card off the desk. Yoink. Get a quick look around. What do we got? Is that worth anything? Nope. Looks like John Wayne. It should be worth something. I know that one right over here is. So let's take this photo. Well, painting. Let's push right on the D-pad to cut them. And then you got to do the controller... L controller, whichever way that you're cutting. There we go. Wow, that took up half that bag. All right, so this hacking, the first time, ah, oh, it scrambled my brain, but then I figured out how to do it. Because the first time I came in here, I was like, what? I got to do what? Now this first one. Oh, wow. All right, they won't all be that easy. So what I try to do is I try to do the top two and the bottom two first. And then try to fill in the rest of them. Because those are the two easiest ones. Oh, I messed that one up. Here, let me go down. Let's see. Start from the bottom usually helps best. Go. Nope. Kind of glance over to the right, match it up. If the lines weren't through the pieces, it would be a lot easier to do. Nope. Nope. Back up. Right. No. Yeah. No. There it goes. All right. One more. Top one. Next one down. Check the bottom too. Good. Come up. That looks about right. That's not. And there we go. All three done. Yay! Remember, there is a keypad in Mr. Rubio's office. If you can get there alive. Is it open? Well, don't just stand there. Oh. 
What did it do? It just kicked me out of the thing. Why? What is it doing? That was so weird. That's twice it's done that. Alright. So now we're down here again. Well, first time for gone. Shoot this guy. Now we're going to use some little weird explosive. That's done. I don't know how far away you have to be for that, but I want to be a good distance just in case. All right, so now for the yay fun. I don't know why we just couldn't use the hammer and just splash the glass. This is, reminds me very much of trying to drill out the locks. Because if you look underneath the on the bottom right hand corner there's a little gauge right above the take that says heat so you want to keep the heat as low as possible just like every other thing but there's no indicator to let you know how much you have left not that I could see I don't know there needs to be some kind of how much time you have left thing here I'm just just kind of winging it just trying to keep it cool and but it seems like it's taking a long amount of time and that siren is driving me nuts but at least there's nobody shooting at you while you're trying to do this which is a big plus How many times in missions have you been trying to open a safe and there's somebody just steadily just shooting you with a pistol, just slowly chipping away at your armor and your health? That's good times. See, this seems like it's taking too long. I must be doing something wrong. I don't know. I have no idea. But that necklace back there is worth a million dollars. I've already got $183,000 worth of our painting. Well, rise up right now. Anytime I get shot, that'll go down. Alright. So now when we come out of here, everybody you killed is, is revived and fresh and full of vigor so be ready to be ready to be fighting them all right so let's put on some armor and some health some snacks on us and let's fight our way out here Now we're going to head towards the gate that we came in. You see the yellow mark on the map. So the fastest way you can get there, with the least amount of death, is the best way of getting there. These people are everywhere, hidden behind all the railings. Can't lock on to them. And see, I didn't remember paying for the silencers on the weapons this time. There it is. I was trying to figure out which one somebody was shooting me from. Alright, so this is my escape point. Press right on the D-pad. See how they the bullets hit me but it didn't take away my health? Like I said, this thing can save you. This cutscene is just... It's just ridiculous. Alright, so you get out here. Everybody out here can shoot you from a ridiculous amount of distance. Their weapons are better than yours. They have an incredible amount of aim. And can run like Forrest Gump. You will not believe 
how quick these guys can catch up to you. But remember, you have a limited amount of ammo, so anytime that you can get it, try to run up and pick the ammo up. Even though you do try to want to get out of here as fast as possible. But you really need the ammo for every thing that's going to go on. And as tempting as it is, you don't want a vehicle right now. Some more guys coming up on the left. Of course, they're just out of your range. Wasting bullets. Another guy over here. And we're going to do the jungle run. Get up here and start getting in the woods. It's only going to mainly keep you away from the vehicles. And here comes the helicopter. Yeah, I'm almost dead. And see, there's not a lot of stuff that you can lean up on on this island, like out here in the jungle and stuff like that, so you can quickly eat snacks. Like if you lean up against a wall or something like that, you can quickly eat snacks. Some of these trees you can lean up against, but some of the other ones you can't. And you really can't stop long enough while you're out here. You got this dude above you shooting you with a helicopter. And the second you start shooting back at him, he just pulls way far back so you can't do any damage. And, and even the first time I came through here and I had the sniper rifle and I was just dropping rounds into his face and it just, it wasn't doing nothing. Right, got a little bit of time. Let's get health up. Because if you're away from the wall, when you try to eat the snacks, you just put your gun away and just start eating some snacks, just like, you know, you're... Having fun at the movie theater. There goes my body armor. It's completely worthless. I'm stuck on a bush. Oh, I'm walking right into a death trap. There's no way I'm gonna survive this. Yep, I'm dead. And the bat let's see if I can get it. Armor's gone. I'm dead. Yep. And the bad thing about dying in this is you drop what you were carrying wherever. So now you got to go back and fight to get that. And this sucks. See? This helicopter here. Where's this dude? If I had my weapons, that helicopter would not be in the sky. <laughs> See, and it looks like there's nobody over here, except for that one car. And I'll get close. Yep, look, everybody's popping up. All kinds of people. This is, uh, I'm stuck underneath the dock. This is going from bad to worse. Dude's just standing right here. Oh yeah, let us run over here and do this. Pull the gun out. I'm dead. I can't believe it. this. So I failed this part. But you gotta think about it. I'm doing a solo. I'm still making grand amount of money. I'm going to hit the quick restart. And now I just got to escape again. I don't know how much more. Okay, so it didn't give me the full amount on my take. Look, I'm already losing a dollar. Dollar's just falling off. Yes, you are clear of the compound. This is the final straight. Fight your way through the last guards and we get out of here. Man, these guys have great aim. And they use the cover really well. Let this guy go. 
Got them. All right. Let's do everything we just did, but this time do it better. And see, the reason I died is I rushed. I got into an area I wasn't familiar with because I thought I could be able to do it, and it didn't work out. You just gotta slow down, take your time. What are you leading that guy? This gun jumps bad. Massive recoil. What are these guys? Just random dudes. You picked up a copy of the codes. I don't know what the codes are. But here we are. We're going to force gump our way over to the, the escape point. Now... Every time that I do this heist, I'm going to do it a different way and learn different routes. I figure by about the 20th or 30th time I've done this, I'll have it pretty much perfected. All the routes out and all that. I'll know where all the secret little things are. This pistol's worthless trying to hit that helicopter from this distance. And you can't, it doesn't even do anything if you shoot the tail rotor either. I put like four or five rounds to that thing with that sniper rifle and it just laughed. And see, while I'm wasting my time with that, I got these guys sneaking up on me. I just wasted a whole bunch of ammo. Because that's basically all that was. Because all he did was just get far enough away from me to where I was just wasting ammo. Now he's right back up on me again. Uh, I'm almost out of ammo, and the only thing I'm going to have left is a shotgun. There we go. And that's worthless for that distance. But it is a good weapon for getting through people. Alright, let's get up here. Get some cover. Oh, I thought that guy was down here. He's up in the tower. Just to get away from this helicopter for a second. If you do shoot it enough times, or like maybe it's just the way that it lines up, the helicopter will eventually leave. And it's just basically harassing you right now. But after you cover a certain amount of distance, or do a certain amount of... I don't know if, which one it is, because I've shot at it both times I've done it, and he takes off after... A certain amount of time. And I don't know if it's just because I got a certain distance away from the compound, or if it was because I put enough damage into the helicopter that it just it was enough. I'm just getting annoyed with this dude shooting at me. As if I had a minigun right now, that helicopter would be laying on the ocean floor. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm out here in the wild jungles out on the... Man, this is... I don't know, it's kind of smoking. So maybe it is. You see, he tells me right now. But that dude is still running behind me. That dude has been chasing me. He's, he's dedicated. He's not my VIP NPC, but he's close. He's close. And like... No, I'm using this as exploration too, because I haven't been over here. I know it seems it's really boring just watching me run through the the side countryside or whatever it is, and you know. But I kind of wanted to see what was over here, so now I know. And there's nobody shooting at me for the moment, which is a damn good thing.
there is no way down to the water that you can get back up on this side. Because if you try to climb it, you ragdoll like ridiculous. So like we've run like 20 miles. You can see I've only got 91,000 left of the 183,000 that I started with. And then I'm going to have to pay some money. I guess I got to fence the diamonds or what, I mean the necklace or whatever it is or something like that. So I'm not going to make 1 million 91. I'll probably make whatever. I think it's like 900,000 or something. Which still is really good. I mean, I can't complain. I mean, I will a little bit, but I, you know, I can't really complain about this heist. This is a great heist. I dig this. For a solo player to be able to do a heist all by themselves, this is this is awesome. This is like running through story mode. I didn't have nobody griefing me while I was trying to do all my heist setups. This is awesome. I mean, I hope Rockstar realizes that every time they make something for that has to have two players, you just eliminated a good portion of your the playing population. That dude back there is still shooting at me. Every time I slow down for a second, he's right there. Very low on armor. We might have ourselves a... Yes, we do. A motorcycle. This is going to cut a considerable amount of running time out of this. Because I won't use them at the beginning of it, but right now, out here on this side where there's hardly anything going on... Oh yeah, we're definitely going to take this. Cut some major time out of this. Otherwise, I've been running through all this. Oh, people shooting at me. Got to go through a checkpoint. Oh, I fumbled it. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, let's go. Let's go. There we go. Gonna go a little off-roading. Hopefully, I don't hit one of these steel trees. <laughs> Granite bushes. Whatever's over here. All right. Okay, let's get on the boat. Ah, oh, look at all these people popping up. Ah, oh, this sucks. Ah, oh, look at this. This stupid dock. Hey, <laughs> come on, get on the boat, idiot. Definitely need to get my last body armor out. Let's go. Oh, I went too fast, too far, too soon. Back it up, back it up, back it up. I got no more body armor. Put that away. Snacks. Yes. There we go. Now all I gotta do is head for open sea. And just escape. And I have beat this heist. Well, I did fail once. But, like I said, playing solo, that doesn't bother me. I'll eventually have it to where I won't even have to worry about that. But, all in all, I'm digging it. To be able to make this amount of money, it's worth it. I do. I, I, I really do dig it. Plus, we're getting a bunch of cool vehicles and stuff like that. So I can't wait to buy that Winky Jeep. All right. Got paid. And he got a picture with a whole bunch of bullet holes in it. I could have made 4.3 million. I made 960,000. Still not bad. And I didn't get the elite challenge because I had to quick restart. Well, that's still pretty good. We should have got more RP though. I should have got like 10,000 RP. I killed like 500 guys. <sighs> but that's it. That's the that's the that's the new heist. I mean, it's kind of, you know, this is parts from 
the first time I did it and the second time I did it, but it's basically the same thing. And I dug it. Next shows all my little stats and stuff. If you feel to pause it and check it out. All right, well, this is Grey Witch. I hope this helped you out. I will see you next time. Peace.